What's up, YouTube, and welcome to my first, well, not really my first, but, you know, first on day one, it's Tuesday, it's 1245, uh, first draft of Modern Horizons 3 on Arena. Um, let's get right to it here. Uh, I don't know what these rares do. Instant Sorcery Spells cost one less to cast. When you cast an Instant or Sorcery Spell, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, deals damage too. If you win, I can flip it into something... Wow, I cannot, I think just cannot know if that is good or not. I guess, why not try it, huh? Two mana, one three makes your instants and sorceries one less. There's Bespoke Battle Wagon as an engine enabler payoff, and then Skittering Precursor, which is awesome with the fetch lands. I'm kind of down on Annoyed Altasaur, and I don't think anything in the other rows is worth taking. I'm going to take the battle wagon for energy. That, that could be bad, um, just because like, I probably don't want to try and get into blue, you know? Um, but battle wagon's so good. And look at this, double tune the narrative. Um, what else is there? There's Voltstorm Angel, which I'm not sure if, how good this is. It's a 5-mana 4-4 four, four flyer. It gives you 3 energy. And then you could pay 2 at the beginning of combat, and that either pumps your whole team... Or gives the angel vigilance and lifelink until end of turn. I think I'm just I am just gonna take a tune here. It's possible that the other tune wheels. It's possible the superconductor wheels. I see the evolution witness and I see the faithful watchdog. Those are both cards that I like. Um, but you know, let's let's see about the energy life here. It's early days. We have to figure it out sometime. Um, ooh, galvanic discharge. Hello. So we got single red, get three energy, and then fire off as much energy as you want to kill a thing. Definitely going to take that. Um, Frog Mirror Enforcer, uh, don't love this card. Another Precursor, I do love this card. Um, this works with the lands. I didn't know that, but so a Sacrifice a non-token permanent. If you sack the fetch lands, this gives you an Eldrazi spawn, which is pretty sick and not limited to once per turn. Some more good green, Witness, Rumble. Um, but yeah, we'll take the discharge here pretty happily and see if we can't just keep tuning up that narrative, just go hard in the energy paint here. There's bespoke battle wagon. That's right. I made a sports reference. Deal with it. Um, razor grass ambush is nice as uh, a good MDFC deal three. And then it's a tapped white source. There's inspired inventor as well. I just don't see a reason to not get deeper into blue. Um, into blue, specifically energy space. Um, Wastescape Battle Mage impressed me. I just, it's a different, it's, it's going down a different path, but uh, just wanted to shout that out. And then see what's up here. Real nothing burger for us. The only blue and red cards are bad, right? Strict Serenade is not good. Skoa Ember Mage is not good. Um, this is a white card with energy. Two mana, two one. Gives you energy. When it attacks, you can pay two if you do it gains first strike until end of turn. And when it deals combat damage to a player, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. I guess I'm going to take this. That gives me something. I got all this energy. So might as well take some stuff to use it. I don't want the Deserted Temple. And I'm I can't really play in the green or the black space i've sort of signed up to play to pair blue with either white or red at the moment or both um royal cartographer that's something to do with energy to to give and receive i think we're definitely going to take that what else do we have we have a conduit goblin i like that red white two two gives you two energy and then lets you haste something out and give it plus one plus zero until end of turn for only one energy really good actually um but cartographer is a two mana one three landfall give you energy and then pay six energy a huge place to dump the energy so having battle wagon and cartographer is pretty sick um to start things off and here we've got a blue white fetch land Really like the landscape. I'm like slightly less inclined for the lands at the moment. Though I guess, I mean, already Cartographer, which cares about landfall. So two energy from your fetch lands. Um, but I think I am just going to take the charge bug. It's just a two drop. It's just another thing. And like of the 
it's like I definitely am going to play Discharge, right? And so it's possible we just end up blue-red and don't play the Slith. Um, so two mana, one, three Menace gives you two energy. And then also let's use the energy to give something else Menace when you attack. So pretty nice there. And also a lot of late black. I mean, these aren't like great black cards, but I do think Grim Servant could potentially be good. Replicate, counter target, triggered ability, or colorless spell. That's pretty interesting. So it's like just for, I think we'll take Utter Insignificance as a removal spell. Though, and we don't have the colorless mana yet, but we almost certainly will have an opportunity to pick some of that up. But the, oh my, we get a Skittering Precursor, a Petrifying Meddler, and just a Solstice Zealot. It's interesting that no one at the table is interested in Annoyed Altasaur. Should have mentioned that this is best of three. Sorry, we're just diving right in because got to. Um, but I guess we're just going to take the Zealot, continue to live in the energy space. Precursor is good too. Three mana, three, three menace. Give you Eldrazi when you crack fetch lands is nice, but we'll take the Zealot, see what's up. We did wield the Superconductor. Okay. Again, not that this is crazy good or anything. Three mana, two, two prowess gives you three energy. And when it dies, you can pay three energy. And when you do, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. But. It's just a good sign that that wield, so did Sneaky Snacker, which, you know, with some Tune the Narratives chained together, we might be able to do something with. I guess we're taking the Shapeshifter here. I don't anticipate we're playing it, but we're definitely not playing non-basic lands or islands, or, although I guess I could take start the gem investment. I just think I'm going to be playing too much on MTGO for that to end up mattering. Um, so we'll take the Shapeshifter and take a Deem Inferior. And an expanding ooze and a wing it. The, the trick. Okay. Oh, another battle wagon. Let's go. That's pretty decent. Um, my, my guess is we're just going to be straight blue red at this point, but um, I don't need to move the white cards just yet, I guess. Eh, might as well. Um, so another battle wagon. This is again, so four mana, five, six. You can tap to get two energy, tap, pay two energy to tap a creature. Tap, pay three energy, draw a card, pay four energy to basically crew it, and it has a crew cost of four. Power balance is not a real card, right? Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may reveal the top card of your library. If you do, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost if the two spells have the same mana value. Yeah, that's not a card. Metastatic Evangel is interesting, right? Remember that energies is counters, and so you can proliferate onto yourself. Um, do we have anything else that we might want to proliferate? No. Yeah, I think the second battle wagon's awesome. And we'll just uh, see if we can't go hard in the energy paint. God, did I say that again? Okay, the one time it's fine. The second time it's bad. Flare of Malice, two black black. You can sack a non-token black creature rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Each opponent sacks a creature or planeswalker with the greatest mana value among creatures and planeswalkers they control. Okay, I think we're just taking our cartographer. So uh, Emissary of Soulfire is nice. It's a... Uh, Three mana, one, four, get three energy, pay two energy to put an exalted counter on a creature you control. That's really sweet. But I think take the cartographer and ideally wheel the superconductor is where I'd like to be at. Um, and there's also a bountiful landscape that I'd be interested in. Um, but I don't think I'm interested in it over the cartographer here. So I guess we're going to find out how good the energy life is here. Um, here... We've got a number of options in our colors. Emrakul's Messenger is pretty good um, whenever you draw your second card each turn. I mean, we've got Double Tune and uh, Double Bespoke as, and Royal Cartographer, like a lot of ways to possibly draw cards. Um, I think I'm just going to shortcut this and say I'm very, I'm, I'm just going to take the landscape here. It's a blue, red, potentially white as well land for us. Um, I definitely want to start getting some dual lands or the fetch lands rather with Royal Cartographer. And then there's an MDFC and Sink into Stupor. Um, Unstable Amulet almost certainly wheels, and this is a deck where we could very well use it. And then another Conduit Goblin. Um, but we just take the landscape there. And here, I believe... Oh, Jolted Awake is interesting. This is a real tempo play for us. We don't have anything great to get back. Oh, wait, wait it can get an artifact. It can get back Battle Wagon. Ooh, I really want to take Jolted Awake. I mean, I see the Hope Bender Quaddle, and that's probably what I should take. Just because it's so strong. I mean, it's not like so strong, but 
Oof. I do really want to try Jolted Awake. I think we're just going to take the Coaddle here, though. I think it's hard to, to pass up on the ceiling of that. All right, 3 mana 2-2 two, two plus potentially four spiking something. Take another tune over Tempest Harvester and Electrozoa. Honestly, we have enough engine eh, engine energy floating around that I think Electrozoa can get there too um, in this deck, but I'm not going to pass up another tune. And what do we got here? We got a fetch land, but it's not really in our space, right? It's actually quite aggressively not in our space. Um, there's a Petrifying Meddler. There's a Serum Visionary. There's a Molten Gatekeeper. It's not really doing a ton for us, but neither is anything else in this pack. Muster the Departed. Does that do anything? I don't think so. Hmm. I'm going to take the Visionary, I guess. Kind of a lackluster decision point there okay conduit goblin or another uh i think i'll take a red white dual land here and just start to to think about opening up a white splash for us a little bit down the road oh right and we do have the utter insignificance that may make us want the the wastes access to wastes there drown yard lurker or utter insignificance number two or i guess a plane cycler let me just take the lurker probably not playing it uh blue black greenland or an mdfc we'll take the mdfc here oh nice we wield the emissary of soul fire that's at least a card we're definitely going to want to splash so we'll take that and take sink into stupor over conduit goblin move that there that's looking like what 14 i probably don't want to play serum visionary if i don't have to um but we probably will have to at this point not playing anything here Are either of these worth splashing? No. We could splash the tapper, I suppose. Our interaction is a little lacking. Consigned to memory is nice to board in against Eldrazi, right? You just pay one and a colorless counter target triggered ability and then counter the, the spell, the colorless spell as well. It's a nice spot to be in. Ooh, is it generatorium? <laughs> that is sick. Do we have enough places to use our energy? I think with two battle wagons, we do. I think we're taking the generatorium. So this is like, I have no idea. It probably wheels. Oh, the other superconductor didn't wheel. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, it probably wheels, but like don't need to risk it. And then what might wheel otherwise? A sky clock could be fine. A messenger is better. Like if I felt like it was gonna, if it was definitely gonna wheel, I would take messenger and wheel the generatorium. But I really wanna, I also like just, trying to go super hard with this energy stuff um first and see or like on day one and see see what's up so we'll take the generatorium and and see what uh where that leads us and leads us to another discharge that's excellent love seeing that uh brain surge will be fine though i don't i'm not worried about the amount of cards i'm gonna draw cephalid coliseum could be good because we're actually gonna have a lot of cards in our yard this might wheel and we might play it I don't know, but we're definitely taking the discharge here. All right, there's a Riddle Gate Gargoyle. It's actually a number of white cards that are nice. Riddle Gate, Eerie Auxiliary, but we don't have a lot of creatures actually. Um, man, you know what would be really nice is that red uncommon that lets you make a 3-3 three, three for 3 energy. There's also Ambush. Do I want to take that? No, I just want to take Gargoyle, I think. Is this possible that this wheels? Am I supposed to take ambush and try and wheel it? I might want to take ambush actually. Uh, there's a superconductor. Yeah, we'll do that. Tamio meets the story circle. That's going to be a no for me. 
Another Sundering Eruption, Blue Green, Duel, Electrozoa, Ember Mage. I'll take another Superconductor. Wait, is this anything? Two mana, three, two. When it enters the battlefield, exchange control of Storm Drake and target creature and opponent controls. If you do, you get four energy, then sacrifice that creature unless you pay an amount of energy equal to its mana value. Huh. No, I guess I'm just taking Cartographer again. This just doesn't seem like. I don't. I don't want to give you a three-two. For your best creature, I don't think. Ho oh, ho! Line breaker. I get to take that right over transformer. How many way? I just don't have that much colorless mana though, and I don't want to crack these. Gosh, maybe I have to take the transformer instead, especially because it's going to help me splash. Oh, that's such a bummer. This is a busted card, but I just don't. I only have two. Yeah, I only have two ways to. Oh, another generatorium. Is that good? I think it must be right. I think it must be. We're just we're just going for it. I, I truly don't know if any of this is going to be good, but we're going for it. I see the red white land and the blue white land, and I'd like both of them, but. Another generatorium that is. What do we have here? A blue red land. Can I take that over specimen and over riddle gate? I think so. Because what are, we're at? We're at. I mean, we're not at. We are basically at playables, right? If this we're doing this, this is five. It's nineteen. Um, but we only need a few more. I took the land. Yeah. Uh, nothing here. Wow, dreadmobile going super late. That is. Egregious. Uh, Cephalid Coliseum. I might. I just might. We're going to get one more energy card. Yeah, we get a gargoyle. That's great. And ooh, a red white land or an Electrozoa. Um, what do we have now? Three white cards. I'll take the Electrozoa, I think. I think we make enough energy that I can just play this. And this is six. And I think I'd like. to be running 18 though i could play 19 it is best of three and we draw a ton but we draw a ton of cards we have all the attunes or the the, the tunes rather so are we playing visionary are we playing deem are we playing we might just play the zealot and then what's our sources like uh six seven eight nine blue five six seven eight nine red and then three four five six white plus the transformer maybe playing zealot is a little i don't know i mean it's a tapper it's a free tapper our removal is two discharges, utter insignificance. I guess this is a tap or two. I guess this is a tap or two. I mean, it's two energy instead of one, but Zealot's not really adding much. Maybe we just play Visionary. Visionary or Deem or Lurker. It's really hard for me to imagine Lurker. Eh, Deem's probably good enough. And then I think we can go down to one Plains. So that's really two cards we're splashing on one, two, three, four, five sources of white. And this is, yeah, the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 lands here. Okay, I'm excited. I have no idea how this is going to play out. We'll see you for the matches. All right, here we are for match number one. We'll be on the play. And we're going to keep... I think we're probably just going to tune on their end step. I don't think there's a reason to uh, to wait for the generatorium here. Nice. Oh, this is going to be a sequence of turns. So we're going to play Cartographer. And then generatorium is going to give us... Wait, what do you do? Whenever one or more other cats can will die, you can exile a Johnny, then return him to the battlefield transformed. 
Dang, that's a good one. Okay. Let's go generatorium. Play the landscape. And then we can crack it and then draw. Wow. Wow. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, wait, and then draw off the generatorium too. Is that even good? I mean, that's good, obviously. Uh, so red permanent other than a Johnny deals damage equal to the number of creatures you can control to any target. I mean, I guess I just let this get in. Fanged flames. All right, crack this. Go get planes. Draw three cards. Draw a card. <laughs> nice. So Demon Furrier is not going to kill this, and then we're just going to be good. So now... What do we want to do? So if I go generatorium and then gargoyle, and I get five energy. <laughs> and I guess I can go here. Is that, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll swap over here. Five cards deeper than our opponent. They're going to play Cursed Mirror. Oh. Wait, does that work? Oh my god, it does. That's extremely annoying. You have two... Oh, they picked the wrong one! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> they get back a Johnny. I wanted a Jolted Awake, and they have three cats. Oh man. I need to just kill a Johnny. Like, I just need to find a way to kill this, like, very quickly. Okay. So. What are we doing? I can attack for, I can get some lifelink going. Probably just want to get this battle wagon down, yeah? Just looking if there's, if I have options. I guess I could play Charge Bug and flash in Electrozoa too. play superconductor now flash and electrozo is good i'm gonna pay give you lifelink i guess might as well just do this since we're doing electrozoa mentor goodness okay these cats though yep I think it is time to kill my son does not like a Johnny as well Okay. My turn. Electrozoa. 
I will pay. And then, um, any other way to pay energy this turn? It's one. I'm about to pay two with this. I guess I have to pay one more. Let's go. You two at a Johnny. You here. Uh, you take action. Take action. You. Okay, Johnny down. And we get to draw and draw and demon furrier you so I guess I should have done the four three and then battle wagon and a land. There's a precursor, sure. And a void pouncer, sure. And you will become a five six and eat a four three. Yes, you will. Can't activate it now that it's a creature, but that's okay. Tune, draw a card, get four energy. My god. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so probably a little different there if our opponent doesn't screw up the um, a Johnny plus Cursed Mirror thing. But well, we still beat the Ajani, so pretty good. Probably not sideboarding anything. Um, I guess tapping cats is good, but they're just like all in on Ajani. So all we got to do is just have a Galvanic Discharge, right? That's it. Um, I think we just run it back. Uh, much less explosive hand, but it's very reactive, which is fine. Um, when we're on the draw. Nice, there's a tune. Let's go landscape, and we'll just go ahead and crack this for a blue source right now. And there's a Johnny. <laughs> wow, not shy. Okay. We will discharge, pay two, bazinga, and then we'll get to tune. Yeah, let's do this. Um, yeah, drop a white source. Hopefully they attack with the Zealot and we can just ambush it. Mm -hmm. Deal three. I don't even know what the tricks are. And we'll tune. Okay, flooding a little bit here. There's a cartographer. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Boop. I guess I don't block here. Seems like they've either either got 
my guess is they have a the, the same thing, something that deals damage to something when it attacks or blocks. I don't know. But I want to be able to draw three here. So, And maybe that's greedy. I mean, that's definitely greedy, but go ahead and sack. Mountain. Yep. Hey, buddy. Big bad battle wagon. Go ahead. I guess I'll just tap you and then I can block and draw. Oh, well, now you're not so excited, huh? Destroy. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, let's draw. Did not have on my bingo card that this would be so easy to activate. Should I generatorium? One, two. Yeah, I'll be able to. So I'm just going to. Nice. Oh, uh, generatorium first. Then land, get two energy. I think we're gonna be able to draw again next turn. Just flash in the Electrozoa. Airy Auxiliary, rip. That's a lot of damage. Can I support two? Yeah, this is a problem. Big problem. Oh, really? Not hasting out the auxiliary? That's kind of weird. Pass. Huh. So we're probably going Electrozoa. Get five energy. Am I blocking with the cartographer? I think I'm not. Block here. Play tune. Draw. Trade. Draw three and then draw one. Uh, sync is pretty nice. Deem is also really nice. Um, okay, Riddle Gate for sure. There's six energy. <laughs> um, I want to be able to sync something. Probably the token. No. We're just drawing a bunch so that we can deem. Hmm. You can attack. Three in the air, I can flash in Hope Ender, but I don't want to do that. I actually think I do draw here. This is crazy. Okay, so now I get to deem the auxiliary. Or I could just sink into stupor it and play a superconductor. How do we do that? I 
superconductor. I'm not saying it is super, but utter insignificance hit. Because it'll be really nice to be able to attack with the superconductor next turn. Okay, you're fetching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just discarding um, eruption there. Uh, half to block. Yep. Pay three, shoot you. Generatorium. <laughs> uh, superconductor. Get a bunch of energy. Ten cards left. Sure, let's draw. That's a good one. Uh, oh, I don't have... I tapped so poorly here. Um, I have other mountains, right? Draw? Question mark? Nah. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's deem inferior you. I guess we're probably done drawing cards. Wait, copy? Okay, sure. I will keep that for sure. How about you? You kept it too, huh? All right, land. And attack. I have to discard. That stinks, but sure. Oh, Oof. very scary. Okay. Um, it's actually pretty sweet. Get three energy. Play you, play you, uh, exalted, exalted, uh, exalted, charge bug. We are popping off right now. Exalted, attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Take action. You have life gain or lifelink. Six six. Let's go. Wow. Uh Okay. Mm-hmm. Exalted. Um, exalted. Attack. Life gain. Oof. This is gnarly. I'm sure I could be winning in some other fashion right now, but let's go. That was so sick. Go ahead and keep. It's not great, but mandibular kite on one. Okay. Nice. We get discharge. Go ahead and just play this and crack for a planes.
And we'll just lead on our only threat in hand, bit of a yikes. Boros, nothing. I think I will play this attack. Mm, decline. I don't need to gain two right now. I'm probably just going to cast Tune. And then maybe discharge something. Oh. Oh, that's an artifact. That's interesting. Also, this is the second person to main deck Siege Smash against us. Scurry of Gremlins. Okay. Uh, should I discharge so they only get two energy? It's a little spewy. Let's tune first. It's a little spewy. I don't think I need to do that. Well, that's looking utterly bad. Ah, 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 ah. Um... Yeah, just play an island. Thriving Skyclaw. Yeah, that's some energy for you. Haste him out. And... I'll be able to pay three, so let's just... Deal two to you. And probably sink into stupor the one of these stupid guys, yeah. So now we're only taking four. Um, yep, go ahead and fetch a mountain. So I guess, uh, I guess cracking another one of our colorless sources is medium questionable with utter insignificance being something we want to have access to the exile part of. Nyxborn Unicorn, sure. Mm. Yeah, let's just ambush this. Take three in the air, I guess. I guess. All right, tune. Rip. All them teeth and no toothbrush. Utter insignificance looking really bad here against red white. Yeah, a glimpse is a good draw for them. This is like just going to straight up be. Well, that's not really draw three. You do this. What is this? Whenever you attack, you can pay three energy. I think I must do this. Take three. And I don't really know what gets me out of this. Battle wagon, maybe. Oh, interesting. Yeah, too much in the air. All right. Um, do 
have anything for this go wide life. Probably just want to play visionary over insignificance. Could play a four mana two five. Might be better than Electrozoa. And also, you know, not flooding out. Try that. All right, let's play first. There's a Generatorium. Let's go. Um, hmm. Probably just play. Oh, no, I don't want to play this tapped. Probably just. Sequencing here is interesting. Not that interesting. There's no way I want to fire off discharge on one. So let's just go get um, an island. There's the Generatorium. Charge Bug. It's annoying that that's going to use most. Gosh, do I want to kill this on site? Like what I could end up doing is pay four and then draw. Let's try that. Nice. Then we're kind of going to be off to the races here. Precursor. Yeah, that's a good one. Um. We'll start with Battle Wagon. Not under any pressure just yet. I guess Scurry of Gremlins or whatever would be bad. That's also bad, but fine. Let's go get three energy. Okay, Cartographer. Tapped. Transformer. And then we'll tap the precursor with the battle wagon. Sure. Discharge mountain mountain. Discharge is annoying that I won't get to draw three next turn, but huh? Tap you. Two spawn. Okay. My turn. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just got to be another one of these, yeah?
tap you. Charge bug. Mm -hmm. Let's get two energy. My turn. Deem inferior. All right, so I guess we're playing this as a two five question mark. Pass. All right. Tap. And then I think, yeah, we're going to animate the battle wagon. We'll see if they have, what did they have last time? I don't remember. We're going to animate. Split second, rip. All right, draw, tune. Okay. Go, superconductor. Land. Attack for two. Oh my god. Yeah, they, they came prepared to blow up my stuff here. All right. Um, Should we draw instead of tap? I think we should draw. OK. But I don't have a way to spend my energy right now. That's the problem. Mm hmm Oof, that's scary. Wow. Yes, take action. Deal two. Draw. Okay, that's a way to spend energy. Do this. Do this, do this, and then deem inferior the processor. 
So now we're not dealing with a 5-5 five, five menace. They are empty-handed. They decided to draw it. We'll attack. Okay, I think we got to go for it here and Wow, uh, draw. Deck, please. Wow. Brutal. Okay. I guess I can cycle that at some point. Is that better than... I'm not even sure I have a land to get back there. Yeah. Just do this. How much energy is... This is just going to refill, right? Six energy already. Wow. <sighs> uh, Sure. Mm-hmm. Charge bug here. I think again we just have to go for it because I gotta I gotta draw stuff to cast. That's a card to cast and a thing to spend energy on. Uh. Oh, there. Discharge is great to see. Okay. Now... We go land. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just start. Giving everybody Hmm. Big exalted energy. I'll just discard a land here. Rather, like, there's like an off chance. That Hope Ender Coatl ends up countering something. They'd have to spend seven mana on it, but it's possible. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and kill the precursor. It gives them one less energy. Nice. Okay. And Siege Smash and Witch Enchanter. Pretty rude, if you ask me. Pretty rude, if you ask me. Another Shapeshifter? It's so mopey. But might be worth it. Just gonna leave things as is from game two. 
Uh, nice. All right, we'll keep. Generatorium into superconductor. Just play this tapped. Uh, yeah. I don't want to pay three and then not have something to kill with the super with the discharge. So then here, this is interesting. I think. Gosh, we really do end up having to play so off curve. The question is, do we get generatorium down now? Into soup? I think we don't. I think we just play sink into super. I don't need to play sink into super right now, but I think it's a good spot to do it. And then we're we're gonna discharge this goblin, I think. Yeah. Could have done charge bug, I guess. Had them pay and then done charge bug. That might have been better. Um, let's do superconductor here. Precursor, okay. Much menace, very wow. And there's the battle wagon. Is that... Yeah, that's the one. I guess attacking there was bad, question mark? So much menace. Am I sequencing this game? I think is bad. I definitely think I should have. Well, it's hard to know. I think I should have killed Charge Bug. Let them use the energy to give Charge Bug haste and then kill the Charge Bug. Not tapping. We'll take the damage here. And I guess that means we're. Okay, glimpse. Jolted awake, charge bug, and expel. Jolt awake the goblin. Not the most impressive. There's land. You could just play charge bug, I guess. Yep. Uh huh. Um. Gets two energy here. All right. Super conductor. If they have the gremlins card, we're in a lot of trouble, but otherwise, I think we're okay. Ugh. Okay. Go ahead and fetch a planes. More important to tap or to draw. I think I think we can draw. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
All right, no attacks for me. Play Generous Horium. Prowess, Prowess. Gotta hold Tune, I think, unfortunately. And we're basically just in the waiting for Scurry of Gremlins. Yeah. I don't see how we can... I guess we could draw into like a discharge. Nah. All right. Very dead. Oh, wait. Oh, I was like, man, why, why do they have so much energy? Right. So I can give everything plus three plus O. Oh. Yeah, we lose. All right. That's game. I definitely feel like I missequenced. I mean, they, they had a very good draw there, but I feel like I missequenced that game. Alrighty. My hand missing a red mana, but otherwise a keep. See if we can't get a 2 1 out of this. Put it on a Mardu land. I respect the immediate crack. Another red card. Um, just lead on island here. No reason to play ambush. Etched slith. Perfect card to kill. With the ambush, is a 2 mana 1 1 menace. Deals combat damage to a player, it gets a counter, and when they do that, you can remove a counter from another target permanent or opponent. So they can they can take my energy in the bad way. We're probably gonna pass with Coatl next turn. If you can't get someone on day one with Hope Ender Coatl, what's the point, you know? Revitalizing Repast. Playing that, huh? You have another one? Yes, you do. Like, why, why would you... What, what would make sense otherwise? That's a big, big problem here. Um, all right, there's a Transformer. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need to find one of my two bounce spells now. And a red source. <sighs> yep, good on you. If we don't draw a land, we're probably just dead here. Oh god, do they have a one drop? They have a one mana play. They do. What's black? One mana, one black mana. Uh, whatever it is, I should didn't need to fire that off. So I'm like very distracted. My kid is up early from his nap right now, so. Everything's going great. Yep. Just take your time, opponent. Perfect. Uh, fuh, 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 fuh. Yeah, I really needed that to be a mountain. I, it's, it's an early concession, kind of, but this slith is just really out of control for me. Um, all right. Another tapper. A 2-5. Now nah, we're good. Play 
play first. Nice, that's a hand, hello. I know they have two of those. Hydra Trainer, when you attack, you can exert it. It gets, target creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of counters on permits you control. Okay. Landfall. And we'll attack, I guess. Like, yeah, they can adapt and then exert. Expanding ooze, okay. Go ahead and attack. I won't activate Cartographer until their turn and I'm not gonna cast Tune. can do it on their turn if I want to get a prowess trigger. Same card. Same card as the last one. Card of Frailies, okay. Okay. Sure. No blocks, take five. Uh, yeah, we will draw three, play tune. Nice. Let's go cartographer. Gargoyle, Landscape, Landfall, Sacrifice, Landfall, Attack, Attack, Pay Two. You have life gain. Life, I keep saying life gain. Life link. <laughs> really didn't expect to be in spots where you were activating Royal Cartographer multiple times a game. It 
it's just kind of insane to just draw three cards for free. Okay. Vigilance and Reach. Okay. Ouch. But then what? Where are my uh where are my bounce spells at? Really? Oh, I guess this makes sense. So you get that and that gets big. Might as well draw to see what is coming. Oh, Utter insignificance, no. This is only 15. Oh, do we win? No, we're so close though. Taking 15 is probably too much. Probably should chump. All right. Generatorium. And then land energy. Oh no, it was because I could have just tapped. Oh, what? it was lethal. That was stupid. Okay. Um, so yeah, now we will just... Hmm. No attacks. Yeah. Don't tell me you're playing the uh, split second card too. Skoa Ember Mage. Well, I'm glad I didn't put myself to two, except that I would have won. Hmm. Okay. Decline. Okay, Electrozo is nice. Attack. Utter insignificance. Doink. And then pass. Infernal Captor. Target artifact or creature. Okay. Are you going to sack something here? I 
I guess they could have the black sacrifice, like the sack of thing, draw two. Wow, okay. You gonna take Battle Wagon? No. Gonna take Cartographer. Okay. A two tap. Take one. Sack draw two, I guess. No? What is this? Wow. That's so annoying. Um okay. I am going to pay three, but only so that I can draw with this Generatorium. Nice. Okay. Get Electrozoa. Tune. That's beautiful. My turn. I will pay one. Play you. Oh wait, can I win? I can win. Uh, one, two, three. And then I can attack for eight and get him. Going to game three. Weird Jund deck. Like, I, mean, I guess it's red green. But not really, because like you're splashing the ooze, you've got the slith, you're just you're just straight jund. Yeah. All right, cannot keep this, obviously. It's a good looking hand, but what hand wouldn't be with seven spells in a synergistic deck? And that's a keep and we'll get rid of Gargoyle. Landscape, okay. Um. No, nah, I'm gonna hold on to sink into stupor now. We'll just play tune. Okay. Opponent just setting up their mana, it looks like. Play Tune, play Cartographer. Evolution Witness, yeah, that is problematic for sure. I guess we'll just deem inferior that. Or what we could do is sink into stupor in response to an adapt trigger, but there's no telling that they'll do that immediately, right? So I think we just...
land Demon Furrier. I mean, I assume they want to redraw it, but I don't really have a better option at the moment. I haven't drawn any of our engine pieces yet. I mean, this is a bit of an engine piece, but no way to double. And I guess if they're thinking about it, maybe they're not going to top it. Maybe their hope was to to get a land here and they can't afford it. That would be a dream. Oh wow, they did bottom it. I was not expecting that. I think that tells me that they need lands. Nope, maybe not. Razor Grash Ambush. There's all the MDFCs, huh? Well, I'm almost certainly just going to play Electrozoa this turn, so we'll play that tapped. And I think we won't attack. We're just going to use the two energy from Electrozoa to draw. Assume this Cartographer's getting got here. Nope, okay. Land five. And it's about to throw the turn target instant or sorcery card. Wow, your hand is terrible. Okay. Let's do this. Draw. Yep. All right. Uh-huh. So we will... Yeah, let's just play cartographer. Play land. Get my triggers. No attacks. Go ahead. Very interesting to see what happens with this Pinnacle Monk. Thorin. If you gained three or more life this turn, exile it and then return it. Okay. And what is it on the back? Make a food. Deals damage to the amount of life you gain this turn to any target. Okay. Let's tune up. That's a good one. Yep, I will pay. And do I want to play a battle wagon? No, I guess we play this first. And then play this. Get some energy going. Do we want to draw? Huh. We'll probably just attack for three. Hold up, sink into stupor, and and draw three. Sorry for the background noise for this game. Colossal Dread Mask. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, we're just going to bounce the mask. So let's draw. Hello. All right. Uh, bounce the mask. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Pay the one. And then tune. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ooh, that's that's probably too tempting. Tune. 
to be able to try and counter that next turn. Um, and we'll attack and say go. We can also insignificance, and they're gonna want like if they have land number seven, they'll pay for the extort if they're gonna recast this. Nice. That is pretty sick. Do we do we hashtag get them? All right. Uh, we can just utter insignificance. Soren here. I will pay. Do this. Enters tapped. Triple the landfall. Battle wagon. And eh, no, I guess my we'll just attack for five. All right, so just to do a little debrief here, um, now that my son is not crying, apologies for that, and thanks if you uh, if you made it through it. Um, deck seems sweet. I mean, I, I can't imagine an energy deck that does the thing more. Two battle wagons, three cartographers. I mean, it really got there. Utter insignificance was real hit or miss. Um. But everything else, and Generatorium was harder than you might think to use four energy in a turn. But yeah, and I think Electrozoa may be a bit of an overperformer. Emissary, certainly just a real closer for us there. Um, so yeah, uh, excited, excited for what this format has to offer. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.